former school resource officer Scott Peterson is speaking out for the first time since Sheriff Scott Israel said he never went in during the school shooting. In an interview with the Washington Post, Peterson says, quote, it's haunting. I've cut that day up a thousand ways with a million different what if scenarios. But the bottom line is I was there to protect and I lost 17. We are encouraging people around the country to educate themselves on their vote, to to get out there and, and turn voting into more of an act of patriotism than a chore. It's about saving lives, and the only way we can do that is to, is to vote in morally just leaders that will help us in our mission to do that. Stoma Douglas students announcing the next chapter of the Never Again movement. They're taking their activism on the road to change. Survivors will be spending the summer on tour, stopping in cities from coast to coast to encourage people to vote for candidates committed to school safety and gun reform. The tour kicks off June 15th in Chicago and runs through August 15th. As the Stoma Douglas seniors embark on their new journey, a task force has come up with a 93-page recommendation report to ensure the safety of students at all Broward schools. And our Louis Aguirre was, has reviewed that report and has the key takeaways for us today. Louis. Calvin, that task force is made up of city elected officials, law enforcement, school district employees, and of course the parents of two Stoneman Douglas students who lost their lives here during that school shooting back in February. They've been meeting for the past three months to result this 93-page document that contains over 100 recommendations as to how to make our schools safer. Two of her friends um, walked up for, for our family. Her daughter was supposed to walk across the stage at Stoneman Douglas's graduation Sunday night, but on this day, April Shentrup was here at Parkland City Hall to make sure what happened to her daughter never happens to another student. We want them to be happy, we want them to excel, we want them to be successful. Um, it's, it's, it's very difficult. Shentrup's daughter was one of 17 people killed at Stoneman Douglas. Max Schachter lost his son in the massacre. Both now part of this Broward League of Cities task force, which met for months with the mission to make Broward County schools safer. You saw mistake after mistake after mistake. Security monitors not doing their job, not protecting our kids. More funding for school resource officers, one of more than 100 recommendations that make up this 93-page report. It also includes installing metal detectors at all schools countywide, making sure all classroom doors remain locked at all times. All gates and entrances to school must also be locked once classes begin and be carefully monitored. Installing window coverings on classroom doors to hide students students in class, making sure all public areas are monitored by cameras, better marketing and funding for district mental health programs. There should also be an external audit of school discipline to make sure it's being enforced. Shentrup stressing that these safety measures must be put in place and that parents need to hold the district responsible. These are policies and procedures in place and if you don't see them in place, then we need to, see, we need to say something. And the task force would like to see many of these recommendations implemented by the next school year in the fall. For a full list of all the recommendations, the full report is up on our website at local10.com. We're live in Parkland tonight. Louis Aguirre, Local 10 News.